Is this Team Fortress server haunted? Imagine the scene, guys. You just join into a server, there's not many players there, and you have this feeling that something's not quite right. Almost like something's watching you. Well, today we're going to be watching a series by Kiev Kills Reality. I don't know if that's how you pronounce your name, but I'm going off of Kiev, K-I-E-V, and your name is K-I-E-G, so Kiev, or it could be Kieg. I don't know. I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. But this is a series by Kiev Kills Reality, and it goes into that kind of strange occurrence, that kind of vibe you get when you join a game and something weird happens. I'll give you an example of something that actually happened to me. I was playing Hunt Showdown with my friend and we were the last people on the map. We basically killed everyone else on the map. We were heading to extraction. Now, while we were heading there, we did a little, what's called a dark site spin. So you have five seconds of dark site after you pick up the bounty, where if something glows orange within like a certain radius of you, that means there's a hunter there. And we did one last spin just before we went to this extraction because we thought there, there can't be anyone around, but we'll just do it anyway. And we saw a little orange blip that came from this ban. And upon going towards this ban, we realized nobody, nobody was there. And there wasn't anybody else on the map. It was like we were being watched from a distance. And it gave me this super spooky vibe to it. And, I, and this is what this series kind of looks into. It's almost like a ghost player observing you. But yeah, we're going to jump into this now, guys. So the first video is called Two Fort Anomaly MP4. And the, the, this is a very, very short video, guys, or very short series. So this might be a short video in general but go check out the original channel for yourself it will be in the description down below yeah i just thought i'd cover this because stuff like this fascinates me i love that kind of like curiosity it's like what is it what could it be you know what i mean and the, the fact that there's not an answer to it makes it even better so here we go uh, so i've never played team fortress but there is a huge fan base for it still from what i've um from what i know Okay. It looks like a super fun game. To oh, they've all gone. Ooh. Oi, there was something there. Did you see that? Let's play that in ultra slow motion, guys. Oi, something was right there. What was it? Oh, is that a scout? And you can hear something, hang on, you heard something spawn in behind him just as he runs down there and running towards him. You can hear something behind him. Ooh, this is very well done. What is that? Is that someone there? Way up! Hang on, go back. Oh my god. They got that that kind of flick that, you know, when you get jump scared in a game and your mouse goes everywhere. Whoa, hang on, there was something else there as well. I'll tell you what, this Team Fortress seems to lend, its, lend itself well to horror. Which is crazy, isn't it? Because it looks so cartoony and animated that you wouldn't think it. Wow, it's like he just got teleported into like a, a almost like a ghost server. And the thing is, apparently, according to the comments, hang on a sec, if I go back, F2P can't use any type of chat to ask for help or communicate. So you can't communicate with people saying, I just saw something weird. That was awesome. I enjoyed that. So that was the first video, guys. The second video is called Double Cross Anomaly. There's a description, actually. There was a description for the last one. Let me read that. Let me read that. It says, was playing some two fort the other day and saw that, I don't know if this is a glitch or something from the recent big update, but it scared me. Today, I decided to upload it here to see if anyone else has encountered something similar. Then this says, I was playing some double cross when it happened again. The engineer that I had friended noticed it too. I thought I was the only one seeing it. Not sure why the map auto loaded like that or why there was a load trigger in a live game. The audio skipped at the end because my computer crashed and blue screened at the end of the recording. Sorry. I am scared to join another match and I haven't played since. Please post if you have experienced this at all recently. I need a fix. I have checked the for forums to see if anything has experienced this and I haven't found anything. I still think it's a bug with the recent major update. I'll log in in a few days again once I get over my fear. I'll be freaking scared to log in. You know, when I think of stuff like this, I think of Majora's Mask because that game was just haunting. 
super haunting. Well, there was that game called uh, Player Offline or something like that, uh, that kind of looks into uh, almost like a liminal space within the game when you load into a map where there should be loads of people there, you know, fighting each other, but it's just quiet and you feel like something's watching you. Yeah, it gives me the same vibe. All right, we're jumping into the second video now. This is awesome. I like, I love stuff like this. It's really cool. All right, Doc. And he's played Team Fortress. Okay. Is that a real sound? <laughs> Jeez, man. What's happening? Okay, that's an, the engineer, right? You just double jump. What? What's happening? Oh dear. Oh, there's something there again. Oh, and you can hear footsteps again. Whoa! That's terrifying. What the hell? I'll straight up rip my freaking power cord out. Oh, I wouldn't actually, no. Nothing's worth doing that for. So what is he? In the, another dimension again? He's back here on, on this map. And there seems to be like footsteps all around him. You can hear footsteps. But there's no one there. Oof. Oh my god. Okay, this kind of, this does capture that, that, I don't know, imagine just playing a game like, it, like I said, it's happened, it's kind of happened to me. I don't know if it was a bug or something like that. But yeah, you get this vibe that it's like your game is haunted. And that's spooky. And I think a lot can be done with that. Yeah, you can make some really cool series from this. And this is obviously one of them. But yeah, this is awesome. Let's move on to the next one. So this is called Dust Bowl Anomaly. Found this file on my desktop. Might be from a Skype chat or somewhere. It looks like he has seen the same thing I've been seeing. I'm going to send him a friend request on Steam so we can talk. I'm going to log in again tomorrow. I want to try something. Okay, here we go. Why is there a spy right outside of spawn? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, this sounds horrific. There's so much going on. Oh, I liked that. That was freaking cool. Did you see that? Little shadow demon there. Look at that. Let's go back. That's not meant to be there. That's so cool. I like I like how it plays with the idea that, you know, when you think you've seen something in the distance, it's very hard to pull that off. I don't know. I don't know what vibe that gives me. Like, you know, there's something there. Like you think your mind's playing tricks on you. So you don't know if you saw what you saw. And because obviously it's a game, you think to yourself, no, I couldn't have seen that. But at this point, with all these things happening to you, you've got to think, what the fuck's going on? Go on, go, go. Time has been added. Oh, here we go again. Okay, something just happened. My God, that is a war zone. What are they shooting? Wait, are they? All Whoa, they've all crashed. Oh my god, man. This is so cool. I really like this stuff. Gives me the old Halo 3 kind of... Um... And that there's people following it again. What the hell just happened? 
It gives me like Halo 3 like machinima vibes, you know, like they wasn't cool, you know. Just the old Halo shorts that people used to do, they used to... Because obviously it's red versus blue. Was that something there? It's this place in particular. And there's a doorway there, look. Oi! Oi! Holy crap! What the hell is going on with this game? Turbine Vent Anomaly Sighting Team Fortress 2, 30th of June 2011. 2011? It's like Torbjorn from Overwatch. Well, I'm guessing Team Fortress did it first, obviously. My turret! Are you saying not to go down there? Whoa, did that guy die? Whoa! Jeez, let's go back. Man, the way they do that so, like, flawlessly. <sighs> One could say that that was sus. No, stop it. Get out. Get, yeah, I'm sorry. I'll, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay, is he spawned back or is there no one else there? Someone's up there. What does that trail follow? Is that like part of the game? I'm guessing it is. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, bro. I am straight out of that game. Oh, man. That's, that's horrifying. That, this is really well done, actually. Really, really well done. There's no, look, like, as the series goes on, there's no description. This one's only 18 seconds long. It's called The Two Fort Basement. What is this, like, VR? What is this? My god, okay, so I think uh, these last these are the last two. So this one's called Soldier POV TF2 Anomaly, and it's called TRU uh, 562011. Interesting. Rocket jumps, man. Old school. That's like a triple kill waiting to happen. Nothing more satisfying than that in Halo. Th this reminds me of Halo in a way. I don't know why I'm sorry. It's like completely different with different classes and stuff. But yeah, I guess it's that kind of red versus blue vibe. You just blew yourself up. Ooh, I like this. Oh my god. Oi. Man, it, the, the, the thought of it, this being like a, this this server that he joined into has infested his computer or his game somehow that it keeps teleporting him back to this server and it's slowly taking over his game. It's like Ben Drowned, Majora's Mask. Oh. Imagine there's something in there. Whoa! Oh my god! He is a Okay, this is the last one of the series because the next video is Gru dancing to Terraria music. So I don't know how that um, fits into the narrative here. It's called TF2 Anomaly Steel Found Footage. He is alone, alone. He does not know where everyone went. Something is following him. Oh my god, this is pretty cool. Yeah, this is the vibe I'm talking about. You know that you that sound, that ambience of like like a wind blowing through like an empty city almost. And you just that's constantly happening and you just feel like there's some eyes burning on the back of your head. Bro, you need to stop smiling 
and look behind you. You're about to get... Wow, okay. This guy truly doesn't care. Oh my god. It's really well done. I really like stuff like this. Although it's strange how it goes from... Eee! It's strange how it goes from, like, gameplay to, like, kind of animated. Whoa! That was a powerful blast. That guy just farted him straight out. That wasn't funny. Why did I say that? Well, that was a palate cleanser right there. That was really nice. There we go, guys. That was the Anomaly, I believe it's called, by Kieg. Kieg Kills Reality or Kieg Kills Reality. One of the two. I don't know. I'm going to say Kieg. But that was really cool. I really love stuff like this. And I'd love to be able to see more stuff like this, like being built on. And I, it's simple, but effective. And I always say it, simplicity is key when it comes to horror. So I'd love to see more stuff like this. I'd leave, like, I'd even love to do like a Hunt Showdown one. Because what happened to me in Hunt Showdown was creepy because it's already a post-apocalyptic scenario. You're surrounded by zombies. And when you're on a map on your own completely and you look around, yeah, I reckon you could do something really scary with that. That would be freaking cool. But there we go, guys. Um, hopefully you did enjoy if you did, go subscribe to Kier Kills Reality. Uh, I'm going to do that now. Like the videos, all that good stuff. If you enjoyed this reaction and you like analog horrors, FNAF, all that kind of jazz, why not leave a like rating down below, subscribe to my channel, and turn the notification bells on as this is the majority of my content. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you did enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.